sofa6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. And here we are, here we are, live. We are live. We are live. Larry, are Curly, live. and Mo. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're here tonight, as ever was on Thursday, the fourth of April, in the middle of the British winter. Cause it's been bloody cold, hasn't it? Yes. Not so cold today. Not, I don't think. Not today and yesterday. Uh, that's right. I yesterday think. it was freezing. I went out of the sun into the shade, and it was freezing. I was out in my t-shirt yesterday. You oh, dirty beast! Did you not have trousers on? <laughs> yeah, trousers on as well. Being as well, mowing yeah. lawns, uh-huh. cleaning cars. Ideal weather for that. Who's I'm been doing what? No, I had the chap over the road clean our car. Oh well, I had the chap, but it was the other car I was cleaning. Yeah, which uh, one? The, the, the posh one. one or the little one? The little one. Are oh, you randomly cleaning. cleaning other people's cars now? You could do mine if you want. No, no, no not me. <laughs> not me. Guy over the road. All oh, right, okay. Uh, yes. Introduce us then. Dearie me. It, yes, look, I'm reading this. It was t- uh, MG Jones has said it was t shirt weather today. Sam Munro says his were dragging on the ground. And it's been taters in London today. Snow and all sorts. It's been proper tight as day and it's yeah. been cold, really yeah, cold. Snowing, yeah, Absolutely, yeah. I was reading on a Twitter. <laughs> uh, Alan, what's his name? Was saying his nipples were that hard he could pierce a Bobby's eye at forty paces. That's what he said. <laughs> we hate to talk about these things, don't we? Yeah. I think so. Shall yeah. we do that? All right. Okie dokie. Let's uh, let's play in the titles and get on with. The one and only program called On the Three, Hazer. One, Two, Three. The, the Hazer. 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 Yeah, Keith's just been bopping away their heat banging hair all over the place, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> good stuff. Like. Tonight, Very tonight, funny. It's, go- it's going to be a night, but before we go in, into the show proper, I've got to share something with you. Apparently, <laughs> everybody on the Vapor Trails team is decorating. You can see the white spots in Daz's hair. It's not grey ones, honest, is it? No, it's not. No, he's, he's been had it dyed again. Yeah. Yeah. You could, <laughs> tell us who did your hair cut. I get my hair cut off a lady called Christine, who uh, is based around the corner, and I've used her for 10 years, and she's fabulous. Well, I'll go and smack her for you. <laughs> Does she come to the house to do it? No, or? no, I'll go around and see her. Oh, All right. Yeah. You should go, Keith. Yes, yes. Get up with a haircut like that. This needs needs cut, cut again. price. Needs well, didn't again. you go? You went to, Keith went to the barber's and asked for a Tony Curtis, and that's what he got. <laughs> <laughs> he said to, the, said to the barber, he says, do you know who Tony Curtis is? He says, oh, aye, that's the bloke that was in The King and I. Anyway, <laughs> but as I said, everybody's deck. <laughs> Everybody on the, on the VTTV team appears to be decorating. Dave Kitson's been decorating his room. Daz has been decorating. We've been decorating, as I think everybody knows. And apparently, Kat has been decorating too. Now, she has a scene. And I have. You have as well. Well, I told you. Oh, of course, you did. Yes, the from the bedroom wall. Fuchsia. <laughs> you mean pink? No, it's more subtle than that. Oh dear! But anyway, anyway, I've got to share this. <laughs> Cat has this this way of doing things. If it's not moving, paint it. If it's not moving and it hasn't got to be painted, cover it. And I'm just going to show you a photo of her husband, Ron. Remember what we said: if it's not moving, paint it. If it doesn't want painting and it's not moving, cover it. And there you have it. That's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <What? laughs> no, doesn't that? You know, I mean, come on. I'm gonna say only cat. <laughs> only cat. <laughs> the trouble is, my wife's also seen that, and she came at me with a, a dust sheet earlier on. 
but she didn't cut any air holes in it. Oh, all right. My wife didn't. I'm going to say, cut on Tuesday, I think I'm going to be well with the dush. You know, dush sheet that's have good. Very likely, very likely. <laughs> yes, but there you go. It's all good stuff, all good stuff. No, Jeff, I don't think she did fasten the bottom as well. Apparently, Ron was happy as Larry, sat in his little plastic tent in a lovely fog of vapour, warm and cosy like being in a greenhouse. <laughs> but tonight, tonight, there's all sorts of stuff being happening. I'm going to keep it light. We're not going to get political, are we? No. No, no. no for a change. Yeah, yeah. Just for a change. We're not going to get political. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about the AGI in the here is something you kind of get spot because you kind of get it yet. Some of us have them. Uh, we're going to be revisiting... The Evod. Now that Kate's here, stop it. It'll <laughs> <laughs> get past that way. It's not getting past that way. We're going to re re revisit the Evod. And we've got some juices to have a look at. But first, but first, on Tuesday night, I went out to meet with one of our viewers who oh, lives right. in Cambridge but was up for a week. Right. I was going to give you a knock, but I knew you were painting. And seeing as how it was future, I thought I'd better not. So I went down to Weatherspoons. And I met with this bloke here, who probably didn't know I'd taken this. Now that, for the delectation <coughs> and education of everybody, is Gillis. <gasps> it's His Royal Highness himself. It's His Royal Highness, the Prince of Custard. Yes. Gillis. That's yes. who it is. Ah. Now, you <coughs> might notice behind Gillis on the wall, there are lots and lots of photographs. Yes. And those photographs are from Horton Feast throughout the years. Now, you'll notice that they were all in sepia because colour hadn't been invented when those photographs were taken. But there was one photograph that was straight behind Gillis and I was sat looking at it and I thought, I'm sure I know somebody on that photograph. You were not on there, surely. I am. Which one? On the front row, Yes. third from the left. The one on the left is Audrey, my cousin's wife. Yes. The one beside her is Thomas, that's my cousin. And the next one... The one the, with the toupee on. The cheeky bugger. <laughs> the one with the cravat on. That is me. Well, That's it would be. Oh, my yeah. God. That is me in 1965. Really? Yes. And I'm here to tell you, and this is no word of a lie, I'm here to tell you I just stubbed a fag out. Right. Right. 1965. Didn't I look gorgeous? Because you have not moved the image in so that we could, you know pick out you rather than you want you want it zoomed do you so you look about what 1415 no 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 1965 i was 10 or 11 were you i was right so I, why are you 10 or 11 were you wearing a cravat because i'd just been doing the boy solo the boy soprano solo piece on the uh, the church at the on you know for the community hymn singing really yes i was oh, that, so yeah what were you singing a hymn or some description, I don't know. <laughs> Unaccompanied? No, no, I had a uh, full brass band. Oh, uh. I don't do things by half. Oh, Apparently right. I could sing. And I was wearing a cravat, ten odd. I, Leanna Lawless, I was ten odd. Ten it was brilliant. To watch that would have been better than winning the lottery. Ah, exactly. Wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So I just thought yeah. I, would, I would share. Oh, right. Are you impressed? Very impressed, mm -hmm. totally. Yes, very impressed. Do you want to know the daft thing? What's that? The four people along that front row, mm -hmm. they're all dead but me. Really? And I was the only one that smoked. The only right. smoker in those four. Oh and I'm the only one left alive. Right. Mm. 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 A bit morbid, that, isn't it? Well, I just thought I'd share. Makes you wonder oh, a bit, doesn't it? it? Does anyway, shall we talk so about... that was at Horton Feast? That was at Horton Feast. Oh. And, and if I hadn't <coughs> met Gillis on Tuesday night, I wouldn't have seen the photograph. And I'll tell you, well, Which I'm- Which spoons was it? The only one in Horton. It used to be the bus. So you'd never seen that? Never, before. I had never seen that photograph before, no. Wow. No, no, but I know it's me. Um, yeah, anyway, what, you know, you were talking about vanilla custard? Yes. It's the vanilla custard slot. We'll have the vanilla custard slot because he gave me some for you to try that he's mixed himself. Right. And I thought, I'd put some in an Evod, a black Evod, mm -hmm. and we would try it. Right. Because you've got vanilla custard in there. Yes, right? and that's the one I made. That's the one you made. So mm -hmm. we're going to have a shootout. Right. Gillis versus Bobo, the vanilla custard shootout. Da, da, <laughs> da! So you mixed your own as well, I did, did yes. Right. It's a brand new venture for me. This is, yeah, there you go. 
So brand new, he's been mixing, and so is Gillis. This is right. this is Gillis's vanilla right. custard. Right. Right. And I haven't tried it yet. Mm. So here we go. Right. <coughs> mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> All right. I take it that it's he's getting the flavour. Oh, 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 oh God! I. There you go, Daz. Okay. It's definitely custardy. Without a shadow of a doubt. Very, very, it's actually sweet, sweet birds. Not powdery though, is it? No, it's not powdery at all. It's um, it's very mellow. It's more like a creme patissiere. Mm. I would have said. Really. Than a vanilla. <laughs> right. <laughs> vanilla. Have a try, Keith. And that's as close as you get into an Evo tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm getting. I definitely can taste the vanilla in it. You can, yes. Yeah, it, it, it's like vanilla seed. Yeah, it? definitely. Yes. According to Safer Sigs, vanilla custard, or vanilla something, is the nectar of the gods. I take it, uh, chat still got custard, <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Don't expect sense tonight, it's not happening. Leanna Lawler says, mine is Lurstard. She must um, be using Lur Pack. That's why it's <laughs> straight away not getting my Lur Pack. A buttery custard. She's putting a Lur Pack in the. In the um, Quite dry, quite mellow. Mm. Yes. Dry and mellow. But mm. I, I think with the the original one, that one, and that one have all been dry. They've all been like that. And quite mild as yes. well. Mm -hmm. But I could taste, interestingly enough, and not like that, but I could taste the vanilla more in that one. Than what I've been able to do with the one I've made in the original one. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the vanilla mm -hmm. is, is sort of more marked, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Is that 18 mil, milligram? I would need, uh, I'd actually need Gillis to, uh, Cause is it that mine, to confirm think, what it is. Mine, I think I made it too high. I was trying to get 24, but I think I got 36. That's quite mild. Mm -hmm. in, 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 you know, it doesn't hit your throat, does no, it? No, which makes me think that it's got... Because me normally where I get the throat hit is is from the, the nicotine more than anything else, Oops. than the flavour. Yeah. Um, and it's what leads me to believe that I think it might be... 18, it's, it is 18. Gillis 18, has just confirmed yeah. in chat that it's 18 milligram. Yeah. I should announce the score. It's 40, 15 to you at the minute. 40, yeah, I was flicking okay. backwards and forwards between you, right. like a tennis match. <laughs> oh, oh, right. we're, taking, we're taking right. scores now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that. Okay. Uh, I think that's very palatable. Mhm. Mm mm. The good thing that I like about with the vanilla custard is it's it's one of those that just doesn't lose its flavour. Um, like you do get with some juices where after a while that you vape and they lose the flavour. Yeah. It's another one that doesn't. I mean, this one that I've made, I made up fifty mil. And it's never lost its flavour yet. It's not really been that muted. It's still constantly kept it. You'll notice he's keeping hold of it and not sharing. Don't yes, by all yes. means try I it. I should think so too. Now that's yeah. that's on an Evic Keith. Yes. Which is eminently shirt pocketable. You try that, sunshine. Evic. That's quite light. And it's got the Argate on the top. And it's got the Argate on the top. Yeah. Which is even better. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you make of that? There we go, here we go. Let's see if we'll get vapour. See if we'll get vapour. Look, 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 oh. look, look. Wait. <laughs> Oh, there's Vader. Oh, hey, the nostrils, nostrils. I like the serious look this, serious this look. is going to take. Stronger. Yeah. Sharper. Mm. Nice. Mm. I think I could just cut it down that little bit more, even with what I've got left. I could cut it maybe down a little bit more just to make it that little bit more milder. Yeah. But that's the yes. first juice that I've made of that I've mixed up myself and I'm I'm quite proud. And it's steeped brilliantly. It has, it really has. Y yes, for me it could it, it it could do with just being a shade milder. Yeah, the, it's the same with me. <coughs> it's still quite harsh, even though I've been using it for about two weeks. Right. It's still quite harsh. Ah, now you see, that's more like it for me. You like that? Yeah. Mm. Don't ask us what I did because I can't remember. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I, you know, the flavour's yeah. nice. Yeah. But 
that one, the other one, is 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 milder and and would suit my taste mm. better. You see, well, you know I mean. here's what I what I would say: at 18 milligram, that's that's a chug and juice. Yeah, that's for sitting there and just chugging on. Nothing, no hit. Mm. Flavour by the barrel load. Yeah. There's bucket yeah. loads of flavour. There is. And it's vanilla yeah. and it's, it's custardy yeah. and that's yeah. that's really nice. This, however, with your thirty six, mm -hmm. actually it's slightly more. Yeah. And fat, I'm, I'll tell you what that it is. That would probably go down well in a pipe. Possibly. Possibly. What would you say that is then? Oh that's better than thirty six mate. That's heading up to the forty, forty two yeah? mark. Oh really? yes. Yes, and it's too strong for you, is it? Well, yeah, I wouldn't say. Have you got in your case? Uh, Just no. leave the bottle. <laughs> no, but I will well, bring. I'll bring it up. I'll bring up what I've got. You talk for about you. me. What? I'll bring <laughs> up what I've got for you. Well, right. come on. Now answer the question. When was the last time you bought a mod? Oh, it's a good while ago. When was the last time you bought an ASIG? A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah, I'm saying no. Uh, no, well, you see, I, you know, I'm happy with what I've got. <laughs> you get them at in, good in prices. In fact, you get into a habit, you see. Do you? And I don't rummage amongst my other ones. And uh, Don't tell Glenis the Menace that. So you just like the li Oh, I suppose I've got to do it, but I'm going to wait until after the break. But right I'll just, right. just, just down. Uh, uh, yes, that, just that's... Down that's <laughs> particularly attractive that it's called nevod you know is it yes I, but every, see, every, i get all the names mixed up well the thing about it i looked at it last week and, yes. and while i was looking at it chris actually went and ordered one the kit the full kit right and but everybody in chat was saying but there's no keith there's no keith there's no keith and i thought yeah i'm what's safe what's that got to do with it well <laughs> What? When, when there's when there's a Keith kicking about, apparently that's you know when I'm looking at elegant stuff. Do that's people when get nervous, do they? No, not really. Oh, well, I think oh. they, you know, they just they just need your your input on it, basically. <laughs> as part of the, as part of the show, they need your input. Right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. That's nice. That does. You like that? Aye. Well, what I've got left, I'll because uh, I'll mix up another batch, and what I've got left, I'll give to you. So. So you're going to make another batch, up, but yeah, but it's not going to be as strong, is it not? Yeah, I mean, I didn't think I'd made it that strong. Um, I mean, I didn't go exactly by the e-juice calculator. And <laughs> well, it's obviously slightly strong for you. That's what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, but that, that, it, I normally vape 24. And <coughs> the thing being is it is, I'm saying it's slightly. You know, it didn't. I didn't feel high off it or anything like that. I've just got a lot of the harshness. And I've... I thought that was maybe 36 yes. instead of 24, but now that Dave said it's more like, you know, 42. Right. And I didn't think I could honestly get away with 42. And I've been vaping that for two weeks. Right. You know, and I haven't, and sometimes when I vape certain juices, it'll like give you the shakes or gives you a bit of a head rush or whatever, and that hasn't done but, that. But can, can the actual flavour sometimes temper the strength? If you know what I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have said so. Not when it comes to the strength, because the strength's the strength. Unless it's yeah, to do with the quality of the nick, I don't know. Yeah, but you know, perhaps, and I don't know. It it could to some extent mask the strength. Possibly. Possibly, it gives us a dry mouth. Cotton mouth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we never got cotton mouth with a dope. Um. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I, I, this, I tell you what does affect whether you get cotton mouth or not is the uh, the carrier, the diluent, which is the proper word for the liquid that you, you put everything in. Diluent. Mm. So yeah, if you so use PEG, that'll mm. dry your mouth out. Right. Glycerin, I think, keeps everything lubricated and it yeah. just generates a bit of flame. And PG, propylene glycol, uh -huh. is kind of somewhere in between the two, dependent on your makeup. Well, I tried to keep the PG ratio low um, when I was making it. Just that I wanted to get away from the harshness. I mean, the I've, you know, like how vaping's a constantly a learning thing. And I only found out of cat. When was it cat? Either last week or the week, last week or this week. That the reason I was getting the harshness wasn't to do with the PG. It was to do with the nicotine. And all that time I was thinking, like you know, trying to cut it with VG. 
But I'll, bet, I'll bet you've been vaping 54 without realising <laughs> it. So have you yeah. been sort of using that solely for the last four This, right? this, uh, let's see, yeah. I've, well, yes, there was I've a... I've only picked up the ball ball. There's been an amber alert times. in Horden. Somebody oh, thought right. there was a custard factory on fire. <laughs> oh, it's been me all the time. Well, it stinks. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> stinks. I, I should say that when you got the flavouring for that, you did check for diacetyl, did you not? Yes. And this, all of the stuff that we're looking at is diacetyl and acetoin free. Yes, it is. Uh, we wouldn't advise <coughs> anybody to go down the diacetyl or acetoin route. I think that's quite important to say that. Absolutely. We get diacetyl free, always. I would never, ever go there. Um, in actual fact, we need to take the adverts. When we come back, I'm going to talk to you about the AGI. Okay. You cannot get it. But when you can, well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'm not going to spoil the plot because I keep on doing that. We'll be back in two minutes while I tally up the score with these two. I think it's advantage Keith at the minute, but I'm not sure. <laughs> back in two. Oh, there we go. If you're wondering why we're all leaning this way, apparently the camera's on a slant, so we're just trying to level <coughs> things up. Uh, we'll get a look at it during the course of the uh, the next advert. We'll swing that way now. Ship's listening. There we go. No, it's going the other way now. Oh, yeah. dear. There are so many things to look at here, and keeping track of everything that's going on is just redonkulous. Um, yes, the AGI. It comes in a box... Came up from right. Let's let's start from start from the very beginning. It's a very good place to start, right? Yes, yeah. Daz at Safer Sigs, I think, is a phenomenon. Yes. Because he will not send out anything that he, he and a few others have not tested. Yes. He right. gets stuff and he makes sure that it does what it says on the tin before he puts it out. And mm -hmm. we've, we've all looked at stuff like that. So one of the latest things he's been looking at comes in this this box here which is a very pretty box and it's called the AGI right right now it's kind of a two-partery job right it's a Genesis atty that has a removable top that becomes a dripping atty right or rebuildable yes now I don't propose to talk about the dripping atty side of it tonight mm -hmm. because my very good friend Dave Kitson's going to be looking at that in great depth and detail on Sunday okay but suffice it to say, this is all part and parcel of the test. But I thought what I would do would be to look at the Genesis side of things because Keith's very tired and he needs a sleep. No, no, I've um, <laughs> taken interest. Oh, well, that's good. I'm always polite. Let's let's go to close you up, be calm then, and look at this particular piece of kit. And here it is. I'll take it off the dingo for the memento and run you through it. Now, first off, just look at that as a piece of shiny look at it mm. look at that isn't that gorgy mouse yes that is 
It's from UD and it's called the AGI. It appears to be stainless or it just could be high quality monkey metal. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but it really is rather nice. And when you lift the top off, notice it's not a screwy on job. Oh, oh yes, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's yeah. a pushy on job. Like the Argo like the Argo-T, which is a good thing. Yeah. It's a very good thing. Um, and it takes a standard 510 drip tip because the drip tip that's on here did not come with it. Right. That would be um, a Siam Mods drip tip, the shorty. Um, and it's, it's quite nice. But when you look at the top of it, it's set up to take two types of wicks. So you've got the posts with the holes in mm -hmm. here and here, which will allow you to use silica wick. Yeah. And then you've got the required negative screw terminal down at the bottom in order to use a Genesis style wick which is what I have done. Mm -hmm. Now one of the other things I should say and I'll, I'll leave it there was that uh, Daz has been trying out a new delivery method using interlink right and I'll, I'll come back to the main camera um, using interlink and using interlink what happens is you get a text to tell you what time your driver mine's called Alfie Alfie, right? Will arrive. And okay. twice I've had delivery from surfacing via this interlink malarkey. Twice Alfie has arrived. Twice Alfie has arrived right slap bang in the middle of the two times. At the first one, he would be here between 11.26, uh, sorry, 12.26 and 13.26, mm -hmm. which is 25 past 12 to 25 past 1 in yeah. English money. Mm -hmm. And today was due to arrive between 12.37 and 1337 and he arrived was that that big white van that was that big white van oh, i saw that arrived which was just right. before one yes and it was yes, alfie sure. but it. it's brilliant that's that. impressive mm, I like it's that. very very impressive i'm very keen on that i like that a lot and kudos for daz for getting it there but on with the plot on with the plot so here it is and when it arrived i thought right i'm just going to get it wicked up and and see what it's like in use so i did my usual put it in in unburned format right so this is a non oxidized non flamed wick yes right, right. i can see you <laughs> riveted keith yeah non flamed wick that just slides in and out as it does like that. it took about five minutes to get it set up um it looks as though it'll take two and a half to three mil wide wick mm -hmm. dead easy to put together dead easy to wick dead easy to sort out and shiny is a very shiny thing. It is, in fact, a fingerprint magnet. Yes. Um, I did have a quick blast at the dripping mode. And as Daz has already discovered, that's Daz at Surface Eggs, there are some issues. But I'm going to let Dave go into that. I don't want to don't want to spoil, uh, spoil that particular one because he's better at that kind of thing than I am. But in terms of how it looks on the dingo i mean yeah. that does look it nice does. i did it think does. at first yeah. that was one whole unit no it's not there is a slight gap yes. there uh, but i've not yet been able to sort it out the tank i should point out is pyrex right so all you lovers of um fire and ice right. cinnamony type stuff you'll be fine with that yes as i say if that's not stainless steel it's a damn good facsimile of it because mm. it is a, a nice weight and so on and it so is, forth yeah. now i've got 36 milligram RY6 in there. It's oh, a right thumb sense. button, I would suggest, because the wick's at the bottom. There you go. No, you would have thought that had come as a whole unit, wouldn't you? Any? If it had been in brushed, it would, certainly. Go to pack some vapour that. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. Give that a try, Keith. Thumb button. It's too heavy for your top pocket. We've already worked that out. It's like an intense amount of flavour and vapour at the same time. There we go. Close up one, Keith. Yes. Is that nice? Yes. <laughs> it's rather pleasant, isn't it? Oh, look at this. We're properly aware here. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Bags of flavour coming out It's full, out isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it, it does the business, like. Yeah. It does the business. I am actually uh, well impressed. Now, Daz tells me that when the uh, when he gets the final shipment, assuming he decides to go ahead with them, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's looking to be pricing it at under £35. Pounds. That's, that's really good. And I'm thinking that that, as it stands, just as a Jenny, yes. without the ability to, to take it to be in a dripper, mm. just as a Jenny, it's worth every penny of that. Yeah. Now, I should also point out that on mm. the Twitter, Miles Dolphin's got one as well. Right. 
and uh, he's been telling me that he reinserted that you get I should show that I need to show everybody the bits that you get but he, he reinserted the grub screws took them out and put them back in again right and he's been using it in dripper mode without any problem let's go to closer up you come and I'll show you the bits that uh, that come along with it and you you get your mesh yeah which is 400 grit and you get this bag of bits in which there's some silicon uh, wire there's a spare um, uh, insulator for the the top um, mm -hmm. the center post mm -hmm. coming up to the top you've got spare o-rings to go where the lid goes yeah um, and there's even a bit of wire there to wrap to make your first coil and you also have as you can see rolling about in there grub screws and a spare screw for your top center post right that's pretty damn good yeah it is you know uh, I don't it's everything you need to get started absolutely I mean from from the point of view of a beginner it took me less than five minutes mm. including the pulsing to roll that wick wind the coil and get it in that was all it took how did you find you know for fitting the coil on it just as easy as some of the other jennies that you've used the oh that's nice the only slight issue I had, and it's only a slight issue, uh, but if you've used a fog it isn't an issue, mm -hmm. is that, again, go back to close you up, you can um, You'll be able to see that there's a lip around the whole thing. Yes. Yeah? And the negative terminal screw, which mm -hmm. I'm not doing a very good job of showing, but the negative terminal screw is below the lip. Right. Use a standard crosshead screwdriver to get it on and off. All of, mm -hmm. all of the screws are standard crosshead bar the grub screws and the grub screws you've got a you get a, a an allen key with it to put them in right so you've just got to remember to get your negative terminal wire long enough to go under that screw when you screw it down but it's not actually an issue and in fact i'm here to tell you that the wire has stayed in place better than on most of the other stuff Excellent. when i was pulsing it and coiling it i mean i can't take it out altogether take the, the mesh out altogether mm. and slot it back in and that's going that you can see it's it's really easily as well uh, yeah absolutely back and forth. if it's if it's in and out that easy yeah um i've got to be careful how i say things now <laughs> but if 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 it goes in and out that easy you're guaranteed a good result <laughs> <laughs> oh that's comforting to know well yes <laughs> i would have thought you'd have been sharing your schedule <laughs> <laughs> yes that's it. The, 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 other, the other good bit about it as well, of course, is that if you're not constantly taking your, your top off, you might notice in there that there's condescension. Yes. I've got a little oh, bit yeah. of condensation in mm. there. And of course, the lip prevents any of the condensation coming out from yes, rolling yes. down the side of the tank or anything like that. That's good. Um, which is all good. And it also means, the other thing that I, I discovered quite a while ago, if you, if you over-prime, I think a Jenny um, where you've got a little a little uh, collection part of it down there if you've got that swimming in juice mm -hmm. when you first put a coil together and a, and a wick together it's not gonna go dry even if it's not wicking fantastically well it's not gonna go dry and I find that stops uh, a lot of the uh, the hotspot stuff because you know all about hotspots don't you Keith oh yes he's a hotspot maestro Indeed, yeah, I'm impressed with that. It's it it feels solid. I mean, yeah. it's early days. It just arrived today, with Alfie, um, and Dave Dave's Dave Kitchens has arrived today. It is a fingerprint magnet. It has to be said because mm -hmm. it's so shiny. I look forward to watching the dripping part of it as well because I don't I don't um, drip on atomizers that often now, but I've got the bim, which I <coughs> don't use. Um, so I'll be looking forward to watching. You can that get one pills too. for that from the doctor, you know. <laughs> Been. Well, I've got, I've got to be honest. I mean, I am to dripping mm. uh, what Hurrod was to uh, child health care. Right. Um, I'm <laughs> neither use nor ornamental. I mean, it doesn't matter what I do. Every time I try dripping, I end up getting juice everywhere but where it should be. Yeah. The, the little David has been high as a kite on nicotine <laughs> before now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a trouser style nicotine patch when I, I goes everywhere. I get more through skin contact than I ever do through uh, dragon on it. <laughs> when I drip, I do drip, and you'd, I just never know how much to put on. I think, oh, I'd sorting it up, it's sorting it up. So I, I thought it best to leave that to Dave because Dave mm -hmm. knows what he's doing when it comes to dripping. Um, 
Right, yes. FMRL is asking, is there a 510 connector on the base of the deck? Yes, there is. But really, to get everything sorted, you need to watch Dave on Sunday. Yeah. And somebody said it would look good on the natural DD. And as it happens, I just happen to have a natural here, so yeah. we'll stick it on the natural and see, shall we? I don't know if I've got a battery in it, but we'll stick it on the natural. And indeed, oh, it does. It does. It? It, in it does. fact, I've got to go to close you up. You can't. If I hold that there, size wise, that's not bad. If yeah. it was brushed, the gap's a, a. It's a bit of a gap. It's a bit of a gap. Yeah. Um, but if that was brushed on the natural, that would look a million dollars, wouldn't it? Oh, mm. absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. It's uh, so yeah. It's angular and it's uh, it's very pleasant very pleasant thus far i am pleasantly surprised pleasantly pleased yes and uh, i'm looking forward to putting it through its paces but uh, so far it's treating me very very well so that would be like a magnet for you to use at the moment then mm -hmm. that would be out your hand because i can see that tank so fits you like you know that with the type of vape, do yeah. you get what I'm saying? Yes. With the hit and, every, yes. and the flavour and everything, I can say it's... really into hits, isn't yes, he? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, what, you're going to get a cloud of vapour now. Yeah. Yeah. He almost devours it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I've never seen, you know, Davis is the yeah. only person I know that produces an astonishing amount of vapour. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you can possibly say that. Yeah. I don't produce any more vapour than anybody else. I think you do. I think you do uh, as well. Are you saying I've got a big gob? <laughs> no, I've just said you've got incredibly no, big lungs. No, no. <laughs> or capacity anyway, lung capacity I should say. There's not much there. It's mm. more than what I produce. I'm saying nothing. Mm. I was a boy soprano, you know. Should have, <laughs> you should have lived in, you know, the sort of pre-Dr. <clears throat> Beeching era. Dr. Beeching? Yes. I did live in the pre-Dr. Beeching era. Well, he was around when I... That was 1965, that, you know. Dr. Who? No, Dr. Beeching. Oh, Dr. Who's Doctor on the Saturday Who. night. Doctor. Oh, <laughs> honestly. The, the old steam train. Oh. Steam train. Belching smoke. Oh. Belching smoke. Steam trains, belching smoke, when that lad... Oh, was that age <laughs> in the cravat in the cravat, in the cravat what, the what color was the cravat <laughs> the cravat was yellow with a paisley pattern on it I must say it looks a bit poncy doesn't it really i love you too what <laughs> a 10 year old wearing a cravat and i should also tell you i was a redhead darker than you yeah i john mccarthy was ginger you were i was a redhead yeah and that wasn't dyed it was my natural color you can tell, just look at it. Now this is my see. natural colour. <laughs> yeah, it right. Is, honestly, right. this is my natural colour. Yeah, so yeah, he, natural natural colour. he naturally gets it that done every Friday when he sees the last <laughs> one around the corner. <sighs> I don't know. <coughs> I do not know. I tell you what. <laughs> see, Moonlit's on my side. Dave Dawn, Ponzi, <coughs> now you're just making stuff up. That's what he says. All oh, right. Uh, see? Take that back then. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, yes. Actually, uh, and then Jimbo UK 1977 said props to Keith. I love you too, Jimbo. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't have a sort of velvet jacket on to go with it. Um, Keith, <laughs> if you have a look at it, it is a velvet jacket. It is jacket. a velvet jacket. Is it, well, yeah. it's because it's a sepia photograph. Oh, it is, a, right? Yes, yeah, when you look closer. It yes, is. it's velvet. Yeah. Yes. It's a brown velvet jacket with a yellow paisley cravat and it would probably have been um, a, a, a cream, an off-white shirt. I wish, you could, I wish you could remember the hymn you were singing, Rescue <sighs> the Perishing or something no, like that. No, 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 it's that bit. <laughs> you thinking back to the hymns we had at my wedding. <laughs> when I marched No, that was Fight the Good Fight. Fight the Good Fight and Rescue <laughs> the Perishing. That was the two hymns in our wedding. Time for the adverts. <laughs> right. We'll be back in two minutes. <laughs>
Save the Six, sponsors of the Haze Hour. God, nobody will be able to see that, Hello. will they? Huh? You see it's that dear dude, me. Doesn't, I know. I don't put much vapor in. Nah, definitely. You'll never see. You'll never ever see much vapor coming out of me. <laughs> Keith, where have you gone? <laughs> 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 what? It's hidden behind a fog. This is how it should be every time you go out anywhere. This is what you want to see, what, isn't it? In a permanent fog. Isn't it? Do you not think? Well, you want to see what's around you, not just bloody vapour, don't you? Well, I'd quite well, like the look of that. I mean, it's nice. We should have lasers dancing through it and all of that kind of stuff. But so that is that the reason why you wanted to be vapour? Because you wanted lasers and... Well, that's what I used to do. It's the same stuff. It's in fog machines. Well, that, that's true. Shall we? Uh, shall we move on slightly? Proceed. Mm. Yes. We'll proceed. <laughs> yes. You are relaxed. <laughs> you are feeling <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> the hand <laughs> raised. <laughs> what? Seeing the hand up. There you are, Keith. Everybody wants to know what you make of the EVOD. So you now have five minutes Be to tell everybody what you think. <laughs> Beautiful weight. Okay. See, you wouldn't. You'd hardly know you had it in your pockets. Mm. Even I would the shirt know. Pockets. I would know you had it in your pocket. Uh, well, yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Conventional. Oh, I think it's, I, it's it's it's. I think it's sleek. Mm. No, when I say conventional, you know it. Uh, it, it, it's something you feel familiar with at home with mm -hmm. because I suppose it's my style isn't it really apparently so have you seen what they're saying in there what <laughs> what <laughs> run Keith run <laughs> don't <laughs> let go <laughs> from Jeff Benyon that's a spare one Keith <laughs> Gillis says perfect size shape and weight and it works now I'm retired I like that. Very boring. I know it suits Keith. So you're going to tell me about it? It's an EVOD. It comes in a kit. You get two of them. You All get right. you get two of them. <laughs> in the kit. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll let you have a on that one. Um, I got the stainless one. 42 quid. Right. Two batteries, two tops, five um, replace, replaceable coils to go on the inside it's a bottom coil like your mt3 only neater um i'm the charger usb charged mm. and um for 42 quid i think it's a bargain oh, while i was two, talking two about them, for two of them yeah for two of them that's, two in the box a brilliant price um while i was while i was talking about it last week chris cat was on ordering one for ron and she's very impressed by it too she uh, she likes that a lot and it is. I mean, seriously, you can stick that in your shirt pocket. I've got to be honest. When I, I'm not, I haven't been taking the dingo out I'm with me. It's just as well. I'll just imagine I've got. Just one. imagine you've got one. Okay, I've got. Yes. I've got. Rest it on your raspberry. See if it will balance. I've got two, two boxes. I know you've got two boxes in them, staying on the, on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. When I've been going out, because my wife's had me all over the place lately, looking at doors and yes. blinds and floor yeah. coverings and you know, tins of paint and stuff like that, as you do. Mm. Um, I've just been taking those with me. Yeah. The only point yeah. I would make, a couple of times I've pressed the button and obviously I wasn't pressing it, if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, because the button's flush, isn't it's it? It's flush it? with the, yes. Mm. It is. Uh, Once you get the feel for it and you, you get it under your thumb. You see there, I think I'm pressing it. Are you an index finger presser like? Mm. See, ah. I, I don't know why, but I love this bit on the EVOD when you turn it upside down and you've got like that looking around the top. I just kind of like that look, you know, where you can see. Oh, I think juice. it's excellent. And it is handy as well because when you go to, because I've got the t one of the tanks at home and I know when you go, you look and you think the tank's empty and you might still actually have a little bit in by just tipping it upside down, you know if there's still juice in it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think it's a really good feature. Indeed. That, that, that's a really good price. That. It is, isn't it? Safersigs.co.uk, Keith. Yeah. Do you want right. me to write it down for you? 
Oh, I'll remember Safer Six. Yeah. yeah. Safer Six. Dot co dot UK. Oh, yeah. 42 quid. You can even get it um, in different get it in different colours. Yeah. Blue, black. Black. All oh, right. You yeah. might even do a fuchsia one. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think I'd be. You'll have the same delivery driver as do you? Alfie. Alfie. Uh, Alfie. He'll text you to let you know. Alfie. Yeah. Alfie. It's we'll good that you know. Shall we? Um, mm. Shall we move? Very on a impressive. Little? Good. I'm pleased about that. <laughs> Look at them gathering them all in. <laughs> Actually, I own just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Can you reach them there, Keith? Uh, give no. the pass them through to Jill, and you, you know. You joke, and I'll never get them back. <laughs> oh, has Jill seen it? Yes. She'll be impressed. She was. As yeah. impressed as she was with the crystal that I'm still trying to get in my hand to do a review, and I can't get out of a handbag. No, you see, it, it, it's, it's light, it's portable, it's. It's yeah. you, Keith. It is yeah, very you. Yes. It is. It's, yeah. it's light, it's portable, it's stainless steel, and it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, uh, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Exactly. All right, it things. Like chat's taking pity on you, Keith. Have I they? agree with you, yeah. Right. Yeah. But I can make it up to you. How? Have a suck on that. It's what I say to Jill. This is um, from. Is this new? As well? The, well, no, it's the juice. Archangel Vapor Maple Cured. Right. In 18 oh, milligram. Say that again. Archangel Vapor. Close you up, you come time. Archangel Vapor, there it is. It's just a sample bottle that we picked up at the, uh, the, the knees up. Knees up. So is it something Maple to cured. celebrate the new pulp or something? Is it? I've got no idea. It's the make of the juice. Yeah. Archangel Vapor. It's being sold in two places that we know of. Yes, Malta. It comes from Malta. And it, it it's it's either in or it's coming to the UK, and I believe the stock list is going to be from Newcastle. The, Newcastle. Newcastle, like who oh, yeah. the Nas young and can get it from Newcastle? They yeah. have to order in Geordie though, but hell, the Nas. Mm. What do you make of that? Not to your taste or to your taste? No, I'd certainly prefer the custard to that. That's if you know what I mean. That, that uh, seems uh, fair. I'll let Dazzle uh, try and see what he thinks. Give it a blast, you one. It being on a spinner, don't you know? What do you make of it? It is mapley, but it's like tobacco-y. Are you getting tobacco-y? No. No tobacco -y? No. Mm -hmm. Well, I get tobacco. I get like, I get um, tobacco. A bit like a cigari tobacco, but very yeah. mild. Uh, it is sweet. It's definitely sweet. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah. It is sweet, but I'm definitely uh. getting tobacco off it. It's not uh, anything like maple waffles for those of us that have been around a million years and yeah. remember maple waffles. It's that kind of tobacco that I get where, um, unlike the, I think the only one I, um, I found different was when we did the. Uh, was it the Hanks and RY5 and RY6? And I said that actually tasted like a, a lit cigarette. But that is the kind of tobacco that I describe as if you imagine a cigarette unlit and you try to taste the tobacco, that's kind of the tobacco flavour that I get. There's a little touch yeah. in the centre of your tongue of almost a sourness. If you, the aftertaste, not so much yeah. the taste as it's going in, but after you've exhaled, there's that little sourness. Especially if you exhale through your nose, which sounds a bit weird, I know, but that's what I picked up. Careful, they start seeing <laughs> no, nose hit. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be doing that. Maple one cured. Bit. Yes, maple yeah, cured. Maple cured. Maple cured. Mm. For Mark Shaw, he said, ah, oh, maple cured. He thought it was flu cured. No. No, it's maple, maple cured. cured. Maple cured. What does that mean, though, maple cured? Well. Because I only learned what fl flu cured was the other week when I was watching it old documentary about how uh, tobacco was cured. Yeah, the flu cured mm. was done by somebody with a bad cold. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what I thought it I was. Ma maple cured is done by a Canadian. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it, really? Yes, I suppose yeah. it grows on you, but I, I, I can't dissect the flavours, if you know what I mean. Oh, I, I. Can, you, can you not pick up the tobacco? No. Uh, that, that's the, the, the main one that's coming out, but then you get like the sweetness after. Mm, but it's a maple sweetness. Yeah, like maple it's, it's like sweetness. somebody's dropped a bit of maple syrup 
Yeah. On a woodbine. Exactly. It's woodbine exactly. flavour. Exactly. With maple syrup coming and it's through. Woody. It. Yes. Like a woody taste as well. Yeah, I suppose there is a, a woody taste, but apart from that, I can't be as specific as you were being on it. it it's Mm. Mm. Maybe it's because I've been vaping Custer for the last two weeks, I don't know. Or he's been watching Jilly Goulden a lot. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> possibly. Are, you, are you getting the taste of screeching tyres? or No, nothing like there's that. There's no rubber? No, no, no burning rubber. No. Yeah, it, 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 it's pleasant, but uh, as I say, I, I <clears throat> not particularly distinctive to me. Right. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we try a different one then? Mm. Right. I'll whip that one off. That's the maple cured. I could. I could actually use that. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be. I don't think it's an all day for me. Um, but then you know, it's got a hard act to follow, hasn't it? Really. Um, this. Ah, right. What this is dark. It's very dark, and it is. Get the mouse out of the way. Go to close. You be calm. Press the button. In. This one is called Cherry Yum. Right. Cherry Yum. Right. Cherry Yum. Well, I'm, Cherry go yum. I'm going to instantly say it's going to before I've tasted it that it's going to taste like tunes because wherever I have tastes that like what? Tunes. 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 Oh, tunes. You right. Know, the yes. Because wherever I seem to have that cherry, always reminds me of tunes. Right. For some strange reason. Even the menthol. Mm hmm especially the menthol really yeah well the menthol in in, in a cherry would do that yeah well, but what kind of tunes does it remind you of oh, oh I come from <laughs> <Alabama>. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. yeah <laughs> it's been so long since i've had tunes i wouldn't know it's whatever it is the cherry's not Cherry tunes. Massive up there, is it? No, but it's cherry tunes. That it's just like it. it. It whatever I have with cherry in, always brings us back to that flavour. The cherry tunes. Cherry tunes. I think uh, this might mm. be this might be something that's affected you as a child. Long time since I had a cherry or, tune, but uh, like the cherry and cherry cola. Cherry and cherry cola. Mm -hmm. Right. Hang on. I like that. I do like that. It's got me all agog, this. What? There's something dry behind it. Yeah. Um, th there's a hint of sweetness there. Th there's a hint of cherry there, but it's not in your face. I want to, you know what it is? Because of the type of cherry it is, I would love to mix that with a cola flavour just to oh. see what you would kind of get. But that's like the cherry and cherry cola. That's nice. Yeah. Try, try a drop on your, your tongue. That's nice. The last time I watched somebody do this was Savage. You couldn't talk for 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. I no, I um, Just one drop. That's it. Taste wise, yeah, it that, if, if it tasted like that in the yeah. vapour, that would be. It's. You can, there's a, there's yeah. a tobacco in there. Yeah, there is. There's a tobacco in there. It's kind of a cherry tobacco, but I think there's not enough of the flavour. Yes. It's just, it's not, it's it, not it, banging it <coughs> out. <coughs> no, the cherry isn't predominant. No. The, no. But it's like, that's, it's, there it is, it's like the cherry and cherry cola, that's what I'd get. Pleasant, that. It's all right. Yeah. It, it's, again, like I say, it's quite, it, it's mild. Yeah. It's not. I am cherry yum, and you're <laughs> going to enjoy me. It's not that. No, it's not it's in kind your of, face. Hello, I'm cherry yum. <laughs> Stroke your throat gently. Yeah. That's it's like it's, whole soothers, like that advert where she used to put the whole soother in her mouth and <coughs> imagine she was being. Yeah, there's by. that. There's that very, very slight hint of a medicinal taste, isn't there? Yeah, well, that's. The, that's, that's that, why that, I tend to this get this tune business. Tunes. Can I just in interrupt slightly because there's one or two people who are a little bit going, he's put it on his tongue. It's 18 milligram. Yeah. Seriously, I go through 10 mils a day. One drop of this is not going to do any harm at all. <laughs> It'll be, uh, I think I've maybe put a milligram or a milligram and a half into my mouth. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. And a lot of people do test their flavour like that. I would not do it with 72 or with 54. 
but with 18 it's cool but you know it's like everything else if you aren't comfortable with it don't you do it but thank you for worrying no <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate <laughs> yeah it might just be me but there's a slight sort of christmas cakey sort of I, I, can, I can relate uh, but only because you put um, glazed cherries in Christmas cake mm. you get posh Christmas cakes yeah I make my own is there anything you oh, don't do? Oh. There are very little. He's building kitchens, he's decorating houses, he's yeah. making Christmas cake, he's, he's, he's mixing juice. Yeah. And he carries a bobo about. I do. He's a bo man's bo man. <laughs> Without a doubt, he's a man's man. I'm yeah, that, that's, uh, that's quite pleasant, that. It's all right. Uh, and yes, Winter Rogue, do not feel silly. It, you, what you said was exactly right. Don't feel silly at, in any way, shape or form. It's got... I would never do anything to embarrass people. I just, just with the flavour being, I think, quite weak in the vapour. Right. I wanted to see what the, the juice itself <laughs> tasted like, and I'm I'm quite used to doing. Uh, I wouldn't have said the flavour was weak, although it's not a strong cherry flavour. It's got a flavour, if you know what I mean. Yeah. The cherry, to, to me, the cherry stands out. It does, but I would love to have mixed that with, like, a cola... Type, yeah. just to see what kind of like if you would get like a cherry cola from it because that it's either from tunes or cherry cola that's the kind of cherry taste that I get yes definitely um well hang on a minute there's the cola <laughs> and there's yeah. the cherry <laughs> champion so for next week well I'll do a mix the two together yeah, and I'll see if you can make cherry together. cola yeah I'll do a video there you go yeah Daz is going to do a video. Cherry cola. It'd be a Bobo video. Bobo. The Bobo video. Yes. I'll, I'll do it especially for the Bobo, I will. There you go. Yeah. Um, we're nearly there, lads. Are no we? way. We are it nearly is, there. Is it? Yes. It's that God. time. It, it, is it that just flown. hurtles past, doesn't it? Does, it does. It does. It does. It's ridiculous the way the speed goes. It is. I brought all my vaping gear as well. British summertime, it compresses <laughs> the air well, down. Well, I think next week you should, we should do it properly. All right. <laughs> and do what? I think you need to have a cravat on next week. And uh, maybe uh, even that's a That's true. All those jacket. in chat who say that Dave needs uh, to wear a cravat, please say I. Oh, you rotten lot. <laughs> you really <laughs> are rotten. You lot. And wear the same two pairs. There we go, Dave. It wasn't a... <laughs> <laughs> and a velvet suit jacket. I'm telling you now, if I thought I could get into that jacket, I'd be well happy. Okay, if I can find a cravat. Oh, my God, the things I let myself in for. I'm sure Keith will help you. Yeah. I'm sure well, he's got one. I haven't got one. I used to have a green one, but um, I don't know where it went. And on that note, <laughs> on that bombshell, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us and keeping us company for the last hour. Right. Uh, don't forget to tune in on Saturday for Andy Sutton. Nuts. Yes. All right, tune in yes. for Andy Sutton. And don't forget, Sunday night, Dave's going to be looking at the dripping version of the AGI and uh, filling you in on all of that. It's been an honour and a privilege to be here talking with these two <laughs> and with you. It's been brilliant. Till next yeah, time we'll see you. Bye bye. 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 bye.